Hey guys, it's Stefan from Chichul Australia and welcome to Insight. Following the release of the new 2013 MacBook Air, Anantech is looking into its Wi-Fi performance and they found that even though the new systems include advanced high-speed Wi-Fi controllers, speeds are severely limited in software. So this new MacBook was announced by Apple at the WWDC Worldwide Developers Conference and in addition to the extended battery life, the new systems include support for 802.11 AC Wi-Fi networking. Now this means it supports up to three times fast data rates in comparison with 802.11 N. However, there seems to be some limitation in the software currently shipping on these systems that severely limits real-world data transferred speed. So in the testing, the link speeds of the systems are very high at an average about 533 megabits per second. But when transferring files over standard networking protocols, the speed drops to about 169 at its maximum. Now this is over three times less than the expected speeds, which is not a good start for Apple and the new MacBooks. So investigating this issue, uh, apparent bug in OS X limits the TCP window size. So what this means is the maximum data that can be sent at a time. Uh, so is which which is much less than 256 kilobits needed to meet the speed uh, capabilities of the 802.11 AC new connection Wi-Fi. So as a result, uh, with the 2013 MacBook Air, it will still give fast file transfers, but these will be limited to about 21 megabits per second instead of the more than uh, 50 50 megabits, which was expected. So this is not too good. It's nearly chopped in half what they expected and uh, what they released at WWDC. It is not true at the moment. The real world speeds are not living up to the name of the new Wi-Fi. So this limitation being in software means that the fix should be easy although. So hopefully Apple gets on top of these things. Usually they do, they're quite uh, quick at listening to the community and fixing things. So it should be an easy fix. Uh, so and it may, it may be only be a matter of a quick update for these systems to release for their full potential. So what we saw at WWDC, the conference, hopefully just an easy fix to get back on track to get that Wi-Fi back to the expected three times faster data rates comparison with the older Wi-Fi connection. So hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Insight. If you did, please share and subscribe and I'll see you guys for the next video.